Wicked Wednesday Shop Talk, everybody. I've got, uh, actually, I'm going to call all three of these wicked just because I think they are. What I carry today, this is very wicked, and I did a short video on it. This was given to me years ago by a fellow Kempo, it's a fellow Kempo instructor, okay? He sent me this. Uh, you can come across these on eBay. Uh, I think some, most places are out of stock. It's got G10 scales. There's that tread texture I like. You got jipping on this bar here. I'll show you that in a minute. Pocket clip, you can switch to the other side. It has a karambit style ring. That's for easy deployment out of your pocket because it has a, what they call the snag system. Emerson type thing. When you pull it out of your pocket, it deploys. Very nicely too. So you got jipping back here. You do have your thumb stud open if you want to do it that way. It's HCR 13 MOV steel with a gray finish. And I said the G10 scales. Now what I like about this, I did a short video. I t tell you all that. What I like about this is you can also use it. This is a great, this is a self-defense knife is what it is. I mean, that's it. There's no doubt about it. What I like about it is it gives you that option of a non-lethal self-defense. You see the, the snag bar right there, and then right up here where you see the jipping, this comes out, okay? Now, you got your non-lethal self-defense tool. And again, I mentioned it before on some pommels, some butt ends, some uh, 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 glass breakers, they call them. I call them persuaders. This is the same thing. Uh, this is... You hit somebody in the collarbone, in the, in the head, uh, nerves, in the arms, in the legs, and then get the hell out of there. And you just used a non-lethal approach uh, that'll be a lot easier to answer to. Okay, you don't always have to go to this. Hopefully you don't. Uh, sometimes you just have to make that split decision. Can I just do this, you know what I mean? If the guy's got a beer bottle, I've got this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so this is the Browning Black Label Vanquish Liner Lock Folding Knife. You can Google that and you'll see it. Uh, I, I think I saw a couple on eBay. Uh, there's a couple. I got the information from Blade HQ. I usually go to their page for specs. They, they got good specs on knives. And they're, they're out of stock. And it's budget friendly too. This was a gift to me. So that's cool. I think that's wicked. That falls in for a wicked Wednesday. Now, I'm calling this wicked just because it looks wicked. I was able to take the sheath that I messed up on. I got a little mark there, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, I messed up on that buck uh, endeavor. Ended up doing a second sheath that day that fit the endeavor. And then I had this just sitting there. So I started to take the little leftover leather I have, and remember I told you it got like thicker toward the end? It's really hard to work with. I'm dreading it, but I gotta use it. But I didn't have to use it today. What I did, I took, uh, open this up right here, squeezed it open, I had wetted it, and then I stuck some uh, wooden scales in there from BPS Nice to give it that fat, that fat thing. And I let those sit in there for a while until it was open enough to slide this in. And I put conditioner on the sheath while the knife was in and just let it hang. And it worked out perfect. It worked out perfect. The snap comes here. So, you know, I had my in mind to do a crossover and everything, but you know what? Uh, why not use the leather instead of sitting in the drawer? I still have that other one. Yeah. This is one I made too small and I still can't find anything to fit it. But I will. We'll come up with a knife that'll fit. So I was kind of hoping that would work. But I think this looks cool over that. I really like the uh, bumblebee looking scales. And I got to tell you all a story. I told uh, Chris Bill USA last night. I emailed him. We were t discussing. Uh, he does some good work too. We got to get him to get some pictures posted. Okay, he, he does some awesome work. 
we we started about the same time learning and he's like uh he's a little ahead on me on, on knowledge on the different treads and everything but i think we kind of help each other but he, he he caught this he said it was bumblebee and it so happens that monday it was monday or friday my wife wore a bumblebee scrub shirt she wears it like once a week once every two weeks she works in a uh health center nurse so she has scrubbies black pants and she has a top and it has bumblebees on it these colors and that inspired me that's why i ordered this i ordered this color i thought you know what that was a black blade so the only blank i found i kind of wanted to stay away from the black is i came across with that stone wash and i thought that that's perfect don't you think that's perfect blank okay that's the grunt four and also Chris will use a, he called it G4. I should, I should start putting a little mark on there, G4. So I got one, two, three, and four. Now, this one gave me hell today, guys. And Chris knows this, because we discussed this. And people ask me, can I make this for him and that? I'm not ready for it. This is a perfect example. This gave me hell. Yep, believe it or not, something so simple. First of all, um... Condor makes fantastic knives. I took it off. I did a video on it. I don't even know if that's going to work. So just listen to me on this. If it works, you'll see it. Uh, first of all, the wooden uh, scales they had on there were uh, epoxy. I kind of figured that. They were epoxy really good. I had to scrape off the wood and everything. I uh, sanded the pins down to where I could pop them out. And then it had a brass sleeve for the lantern, and I popped that out. The scales were stuck. So I finally got them off. Okay. Now, I got all my stuff together. And the part that doesn't show in the video, I was kind of doing step by step, is when I got it together, the screws are right here. So there's a space back here. I didn't think about that. That's why they had the sleeve, the brass sleeve. It kept it shut. So it kind of spaced. It, it was separating right there I couldn't have that so this is the first time I've used an epoxy on one of my custom fixed blade knives yep so what I did I started just do epoxy here but I went ahead and did the whole thing epoxy yeah this is on there and then uh, I let it in the vise let it sit and then I had to go back over and polish and get it all set this one's not coming off I don't like using epoxy uh, because I like changing them out. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm gonna go start that tomorrow. I need to start, finish tweaking up my uh, custom knives and that knife display. I wanted to start that second row, finish it off, remember? Yep. So what's nice about it is I can take those off and, you know, work with them. Also, I can always replace the scales back to the original if I'm not happy. But this one here is epoxy. Now, it's not permanent because I would just have to take it off like I did the Condor. But yeah, it's it's full tang. It's solid. It was just a nice piece. It had a, uh, it had a rust patina on the blade, the bottom part of the blade. Because I've used this. This was our kitchen knife. Now I got it back as my throwing knife. Uh, I, I tell you why, too. I, I got to give him a call. I haven't talked to him in a week. Uh, sharpening by DeWitt. I took three of my wife's uh, kitchen knives down to him at the uh, at his mobile unit at Tractor Supply, and he sharpened those right there, then and there, while we waited and talked to him, had a nice conversation, and I you, I, I cook. Now she'll be cooking a lot more when she retires in January, but I cook, so I've been using those knives that razor sharp. So I haven't pulled this one back out to use, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna customize that. Now, the only thing is, if y'all remember seeing it, it was tan on one side and black on the other. That's another thing. You can't guarantee what it's going to come out like. Okay, I'm talking it was tan. It was like a desert tan. And it came up with this. So you never know. I mean, if someone asked me to customize it with such and such, such and such, and something like this, it's just, I, I'm just not there yet. I'd like to be able to calmly, I need, I don't even have the right tools still to do something very professional. So give me time and I'm working on it and uh, baby steps.
I mean, think about it. I've only done four of customized with blanks. I've done quite a bit custom scales, but I'm going back tweaking, tweaking them. I'm fixing them to make them right. And I still got those pocket knives that I did, the bucks and all that. I got to go back and tweak them because they're not right. They look right, but up close and personal, they're not right. Anyway, I'm getting there. Okay, so I threw this one. Threw this one for the first time. And I'm going to go inside and, yes, vacuum. We got a cold front coming here in Florida, man. I'm going to be bundled up. I think it's supposed to get down to 50. Oh, yeah, that's cold, man. All right, y'all take care and sog out.